Hi, it's Wayne here from Adreno Brisbane. I'm going to talk to you about roller guns today. Roller guns have been around for a long time, but only in the last 10 years have they become commercially viable. A lot of good brands working hard to bring good products to the market, and some have done remarkably well. Where a normal gun powers the spear from here, two thirds down the track to there, a roller gun takes the power from here and powers the spear all the way. At the very beginning of the pull, it's already got power. So that means from here right through to there, the spear's powered, adding another, well, at least a third power. So they work by having the rubber on the bottom here, go over a roller here, and then pull down the barrel to the notches here, okay? And so the rollers have a very smooth play to be able to, to bring the power to bear on the spear. And the feature basically is that you get a big gun performance out of a smaller gun. I use a roller gun. Mine's a 110. And I'm taking shots with it that I would take with my 130. One of the features of a roller gun is less noticeable kick. When you've got the spear moving down this direction on the top and the rubber's pulling back this direction. In some way, it negates the amount of kick it puts onto the, the gun barrel. They always feel smoother. Quite often, the first time you fire them, you're going, wow, did I have a broken rubber or something? It feels quite a lot different than a double rubber on a, 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 a large rail gun. People run into trouble with their roller guns because they struggle to set them up. And there are quite a few formulas to set them up. Some of the things that have to be set up correct is how long the rubber and how much pretension is given the rubber. Pretension is how much tension has it got right from the beginning of the load. How thick the spear is, how long the spear is. So there's quite a few variables there that you have to balance out. And a lot of it to do with what are you going to use it for. Rollers are very effective for very close shooting on big fish in dirty water but they're also very useful for a longer shot. You know, for myself, I've got my 110 shooting like my 1.3. I'm using long shots with it. It works great. It also means if I'm diving deep, I've got a shorter gun down with me. It's so much easier to maneuver. Quite a few rollers are made or put together with a kit. That means you can put the muzzle on and add the rubbers in and turn an existing gun into a roller gun. My only caution on that is to make sure the existing gun has got a strong enough trigger mechanism. It's no good taking a 100 centimeter or a 65 centimeter standard gun and putting a roller head on it. You will not be able to trust the trigger mech to be able to take the pressures involved. So that brings us to the inverted roller gun. Here's a good example of one. You can see it's got a lot of rubber on the bottom, but the thing that makes this system work are the pulleys. You've got two pulleys here, two banks of rubbers. There's three rubbers there and three rubbers here, pulled through two pulleys. So the beauty of the system is that you take off a rubber here and a rubber here. You now have one set of rubbers there. The gun is not hard to load. Because of the pulleys, they make it easier to load. And here we go. Look at this. Once you've loaded it, those pulleys are up here. You turn the gun over and you reach down to the far end here and you grab your, uh, your, your rubber, you're stretching it from down there, pull it up, load it onto there, and this one's loaded onto here. So now you've got three rubbers fully stretched down the barrel and they're going to move from there to there. See this distance from there to there when they're fired. But you are now moving the bridle from back here to here under that power. So it uses uh, the pulleys to create a greater power and speed on the spear. This gun is a good example of an inverted roller. These have been tried and tested and mainly used for taking large tuners. They are a, uh, a choice you can have to 
as a blue water gun. They have been tested in the Coral Sea in Australia, here on large tuna and wahoo. They are noticeably lighter, carbon fibre, shorter than blue water guns. In the past, when you put a lot of rubber on a light gun, it results in a hell of a kick. Usually too much to remain accurate. You put a couple of things, something like two 20 mil rubbers on a, uh, a 1.4 aluminium rail gun and it brings power to the gun that is just too hard to be accurate with. This solves that. And that's what uh, the inverted roller gun is all about. Now, this is not something you just want to go out and shoot the odd mackerel with or coral trout. This is not in that game at all. It takes a bit of loading. There are three separate rubbers. One's loaded on top, two on the bottom. You know, when you shoot it out, you've got double wrap uh, line here. See, there's your double wrap lines. So now you've got that line, you've got all these lines. It's not for a new person to have to undo those tangles. So, but it is a good choice for a more experienced person. It's Wayne here from Adreno, Brisbane. Cheers.